2.1. 2.1 is linear equations and problem solving. Linear with a linear equation. That title's too long. All of the other acronyms on the table. I'm going to take the pastor's page in order to cry. equations and problem solving. Okay, an equation in X is a statement that two algebraic expressions are equal. So, for example, you could have something that says 3X minus 5 equals 7. Or you could have um, X squared plus 2X plus 3 or minus 3 equals 0. Or you could have something like radical 2x equals 4. All of these are um, equations. Okay, pretty simple. We know how to solve all of those. <coughs> how we can go from there. So we're going to talk about <coughs> solving equations. And we're going to talk about solving equations with fractions first. That's our favorite thing. So let's say we have x over 3 plus 3x over 4 equals 2. What? Yep. Okay, so let's say we have that, and then how would we start by solving them? What would we need to find first? <laughs> Don't just say math. Tell me what we'd have to find first. Oh, yes, the common denominator. Beautiful. Common denominator. Um, Isabel, we did not do all of these. And I don't know that I listed it on Power School, which ones we did. And I don't know where it's at. Um, yeah, we have to find the common denominator. So what is the common denominator of that? 12. So what does that mean I have to multiply each thing by? Okay, so. Mm. Okay. So we have to solve it with a common denominator, and the common denominator, or the least common denominator, is 12. In Okay, so what you're going to do is multiply each thing by 12. Oh, I'm going to multiply this by 12. I'm going to multiply this by 12. And I have to multiply this side by 12. When I do that, I get 24. I get 36x over 4. And I get 12x over 3. Now I can reduce those fractions. What's 12x divided by 3? 4x. What is 36x divided by 4? 9x equals 24. Okay? So then I get 13x equals 24. I divide by 13, and x equals 24 thirteenths. Okay? And I can't go any further than that, so I leave it there. Now, on your homework, they might ask you to check, which means I have to plug this back in to the original equation and solve. Okay, so that is what we're trying to do. We're trying to find the least common denominator, multiply by that so that we can solve and cancel out our fractions. What happens if I have an equation that says 1 over x minus 2 and then it says uh, equals 3 over x plus 2 and 6 minus 6x six over x squared minus 4. Hmm. What do I need to do there? Least common denominator. What is the least common denominator? What is x squared minus 4 broken down into? 
Yes, it's broken down into x plus 2, x minus 2, because it's a difference of squares. So my least common denominator is x plus 2 times x minus 2. So I'm going to multiply all of the sections by x plus 2, x minus 2. And I have to multiply this side also by x plus 2, x minus 2. Now, over here on this side of the um, equal sign, what happens? Yes, the x minus 2 cancels, and I'm left with x plus 2 equals, okay, on, with this fraction what happens? x plus 2 cancels, leaving me with 3 times x minus 2. And then I have minus 6x, and what happens here? And x plus 2 cancels, both cancel. So I have this. Now I need to do, use the distributive property so that I can get 3x minus 6 minus 6x, okay? I'm going to combine like terms. x plus 2 equals negative 3x minus 6. I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. I'm going to add 3x to both sides. I'm going to divide by 4, and x equals negative 2. Okay. Finding the least common denominator, multiplying each unit by that allows me to solve. Okay. Um, so x minus 2 it yields a denominator of 0. If I plug this back in okay, to the original equation of... 1 over x minus 2 equals 3 over x plus 2 minus 6x over x squared minus 4. If I plug negative 2 back in to all the spots there are x, what ends up happening? Here, I would get 1 over negative 2, yeah? or 1 over negative 4, yes? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here, I would get what? 3 over 4. Okay. And here, I would get negative 12 over what? No, what's over 0? What's wrong with this picture? Mm -hmm. You can't have 0 in the denominator spot, okay? So, when I plug it in and check, so x equals negative 2 is something called an extraneous solution. Extraneous solution. Okay. And if I plug it um, into my graph and calculator, plug this in equation 1, and plug this whole segment into equation 2, you'll see what that means by an extraneous solution. It's going to have points where it does not cross um, anything. It has no solution. It's never going to touch the x-axis. Okay? So you're going to need to check it algebraically, and then you're going to need to check it by plugging each side of the equal sign <coughs> into your graphing calculator and graphing it. Bless you. And so when you would write your answer, you would say extraneous solution. Okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Good. Now. Last thing we're going to talk about today before we break it up is finding the dimensions of a room. Okay? Yes. So you have a rectangular room. Okay? Again, this is your width. This is your length. Yes? Wow, I know. It says a rectangular kitchen is twice as long as it is wide and its perimeter is 84 feet. Find the dimensions of the kitchen. So, by 84 by 4. Nope. Yeah. If the whole area, if the whole perimeter 
I'm sorry, if the perimeter is 84 feet and the kitchen is twice as long as it is wide, what does that mean? If the, if the, if the what is twice as long? If the length is twice as long as it is wide, how would I set up that equation? Oh. Uh, sorry. The length is twice as long as the width and the perimeter is 84 feet. How can you set up an equation to solve that? Not over four. Not over two. No. You know, how do you find the perimeter of something? You take what? No, nope, that's the area. How do you find the perimeter of something? <laughs> yes. Width plus length plus width plus length. So if the length is twice the width, what can we give? You need to give variables to represent stuff right now. What can we say? <laughs> X can be my <coughs> width, and length can be my what? The length Whoa. is twice the X width. What? 2X. So this is X, 2X. This would be X. 2X. Good. Okay, now I'm going to add all those up together and set it equal to what? 84. Yes. 2, 4, 6. So 6X six equals 84. When I divide by 6, x would give me, um, what, 6, 5, 4, 14, okay? So my width is 14. What does that make my length? If you double that, double that, so 28. 28. So I have a 14 by 28 kitchen. You're going to have to figure out some things like that tonight on your homework. That's where we're going to stop today. <coughs> <coughs>